One question I get asked all the time is how to stay in your feminine energy while running a business. And I just want to remind everyone that every single person on this planet has feminine and masculine energy and both energies are extremely important. Right now on the planet, the masculine energy is the most dominant energy because it is seen as being better or more useful. And so a lot of people are having to tap back into their feminine energy because they were raised in a way where masculinity was looked at as being the best or, you know, femininity was always being like silly or stupid or not useful or didn't make sense. So a lot of people are trying to tap back into their feminine energy. And I just want to say, no matter what sex you are, it's so useful to be able to tap into this energy. This is the energy of beingness. This is the energy of patience, of surrender, of acceptance. This is the energy of receiving. This is the energy of not controlling everything, of allowing. This is the energy of love. This is the energy of intuition. So every single great business person, man or woman, probably uses this energy because you cannot hyper control everything all the time. It will always, always, always lead to burnout. There has to be a sense of A, understanding that other people can take care of things really well. You are allowed to sit back and be the CEO of your business. You don't have to do everything. You don't have to do all the copy. You don't have to do all the Canva graphics. You don't have to do everything. You can sit back and let other people do things and be the receiver of their great work and also give to them. So it's, I would say the feminine energy is very like abundant, abundant mindset. And I think the way that you would tap into this energy if you run a business or if you work, you, you don't necessarily have to run your own business. You can just work. But the way you can tap into this is every single day before work, Make sure that you do something that brings you into the frequency of love, whatever that is for you. For me, it's breath work. I do a short breath work and I also write a gratitude list. I make sure that I put myself into the aura of like gratitude, thankfulness, being like, wow, I love my life. Like my life is so amazing just the way it is. And then when I go forward into doing work for the day, I'm not making decisions from a place of lack and I'm not trying to hyper control everything. I'm okay with the time it takes for things to get done. I'm okay with my team doing the work that they need to do and I'm not micromanaging them. I'm trusting that they're doing what they need to do. And I know that my business is gonna be successful as long as I'm happy and healthy and aligned. I don't have to you know, burn my candle right to the end of its wick for there to be success and nor do I want to because I do not want money at the cost of my health. Please, no. Um, so, not that you have to cost your health to make money. It's just that you can have both. You don't have to ruin your health to make money. So that's a big, big, big part of being in the feminine energy is being in that abundance mindset, being in that heart chakra, being in that aura of gratitude, definitely for sure. And then there has to be a huge element of trust. And for me, this is a spiritual connection. I really connect with like source. I really connect with angels. I know that sounds wild, but I really just believe that the universe has my back. I believe the source has my back. I know the best interest is at heart. And when things don't work out, I'm not like scrambling, trying to fix it or make it go my way. I'm saying like, okay, there's a reason why this isn't working out. I'm going to pivot and work on this for a bit, or I'm going to go over here and do this. I really like to follow little clues and be really intuitive with my work. And if my body is like, don't work today, I do not. I go sit in the bath and I'll read. I'll like take time to recharge, take time to be creative. So for me, it's definitely not being so rigid and structured. It's following my intuition with my business. If someone reaches out to me and they're like, hey, let's have a collaboration on this thing. And for whatever reason, my intuition is like, don't do this. I don't do it. Um, so be intuitive. Don't be afraid to listen to your intuition when it comes to your business. Don't be afraid to rest. That is where the best, best, best ideas come from. It's so ironic, but you think, you know, oh, I'm going to hustle and grind, blah, blah, blah. That's what's going to get me a success. But you could honestly work two days a week, take a big rest day on the Wednesday, and then have a billion dollar idea. And it's, you would have only had that idea if you rested and if you listened to your intuition. So listening to your intuition is so, so, so important and being in the frequency of love. 
I've heard this time and time again, when you're running a business and you're treating your clients, your customers, your team, whomever, treat them as if you love them, you will go far. People feel that. If you're not so like, I got to get this from you and I got to get that from you and the numbers, da, 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 da. You're not trusting that things are going to work out. People really feel that energy and they're not going to want to work with you because it's not a good energy to be around. Show up as if you're ready to serve. You love them as they are and you know your business is going to work out and things just fall into place. I promise you they will fall into place. And again, I'm not saying that when you're running your business, it has to be all in your feminine energy. It definitely doesn't. But the good thing about the internet these days is that you can build systems to do the masculine part. So for me, almost everything is done on a system. My bookkeeping is done on a system. My accounting is done on a system. Um, buying sales is done on a system. A lot of the stuff that would be very masculine energy for me is completely automated. So I don't have to do it. I can. St I like being in my feminine energy most of the day. I mean, I obviously toggle back and forth, but you can work it out so that you structure your life so that it fits with your energetic type. And I just like people to know that you can empower yourself to do that. You don't have to sacrifice, you know, the life that you want in order to work or have your own business. You can have it all. It just takes a little bit of designing. So I hope that's inspiring. Again, my number one tip is do something to get you into a heart space. And from a science place, that just means creating heart and brain coherence. There's so many ways to do this. One of my favorite ones is just like a simple breathwork practice where you focus on your heart, think about people that you love, think about how grateful you are, and you will feel that connection. Your brain starts to connect with your heart and you can make more heart-centered decisions instead of being all cerebral, all in your brain, thinking of the numbers, da, da 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 Get into your body. Get into your body and see how does it feel? How does it feel to do this? And you will find, I think, great success. Love you.